All right, I don't post very often at all. I'm trying to get better at this. Uh, but the purpose for this post is to help all the people out that have struggled like myself with getting rid of the network administrator lock on the YouTube restriction. Okay. So a brief example of this or a brief background of this is that in YouTube, there is a, a restricted mode. That restricted mode can be, be enabled on each individual browser or it can be enabled by you in your settings uh, as an individual person. So every time you log in or something, or it can be enabled by your network administrator. Okay. And if it's enabled by your network administrator, then it doesn't matter what your browser settings or your personal settings are. They are overrided by the network administrator. Now this gave me quite some frustration and from my searches on the internet gave several other people lots of frustration because nobody could figure out how to solve this problem. Now I'm going to warn people that are super new about this is if you search, there are several people that post links that say, Hey, go here uh, to fix the problem. Or they give you a, they wanted you to go into your uh, red edit, reg edit, and uh, delete some things to edit some things. I don't, I didn't do any of that stuff. I don't recommend doing any of that stuff. Some of the, what, some of the um, um, folders that they said to delete are folders that are necessary. Um, so beware of scammers that are just trying to get you to screw up your computer, or possibly they just don't know what they're talking about. And uh, so don't go in your computer and delete anything. Um, okay, so what I was running into the issue was that I, I don't have a network administrator. I have a personal computer and I don't have a network set up between computers or anything like that. So there was no reason why I would have this network administrator lock on the restricted mode. Also, restricted mode for YouTube, if you don't know, is really stupid because the only thing YouTube does is block people that complain about other people. Uh, so if you've been complained about by a rival company or somebody, you know, what, somebody that just doesn't like you, you get put on the restricted mode list and then YouTube um, filters out what uh, your website so that other people can't see it, which is quite frustrating for certain viewers. So what I was searching for was David Nell, who's a musician, a country musician, song called The Secret. And super uh, family safe, nothing, no issues at all. Shouldn't be on the restricted mode. But every time I brought it up, it would tell me that this was blocked because of uh, the restricted mode. And if I went into my personal settings, the restricted mode was unlocked. It said it was off. And then if I went into the actual settings um, and you scroll all the way to the bottom of YouTube, it has a line down there. And if I was next to my computer, I'd show you, but my kid's playing the computer because he's been waiting for hours. Um, it has a line down there that has the restricted mode. And typically you can click on it and turn that off. But if it's, if you click on it, it'll pop up a, another thing that says your restricted mode has been enabled by your network administrator. If you're getting that problem, then your issue is a little bit uh, more complicated, right? You're not going to be able to go in and change things. Um, so simple solution, I'll tell you uh, first, and you can try this, um, and then I'll explain how I came to discovering this as well in a couple of minutes. The thing that you're going to most likely need to do is reset your router to the factory defaults and reset up your router. Okay, so how I discovered this is I called a couple of customer service supports. Nobody had any clue what they were talking about. Uh, they all went through the really stupid um, uh, troubleshooting issues. And then finally, I was like, screw them. I'm smarter than people. I will figure this out on my own. So what I first did was I tried to isolate where the problem was coming from. So if you can isolate where the problem is coming from, that'll help you. So first search uh, different browsers, right? Search the exact same thing on different browsers. See whether or not it's a browser issue first. If you're getting the same problem on all of your browsers, then you know it's not that. Also, you can see whether or not 
um, if you're logged in on those different browsers, try somebody else's account. So if you're married or somebody, use their Google account or log out of Google, use it on a ghost mode or a secret mode to try to verify that it's not your own personal settings. So that was the first thing that I did. Verify that it wasn't a personal setting thing. Next thing I did was I took my cell phone and I searched the same thing on my cell phone and got the same restriction, same problem. And then I took my cell phone off of the Wi-Fi and did the same search. And lo and behold, that worked for me. So I knew it was something with my Wi-Fi, my internet service provider, something in that line. Okay. So the next thing I did is I unplugged my computer from my router and I plugged my computer directly into my modem and I unplugged my router from my modem, of course, because the modem only has one outlet or one X port. Um, so then I closed all my browsers. I opened up my browsers and I researched the same thing. David Nell, the secret and lo and behold, it worked. Okay. So what that told me was two things. It told me, one, that my problem was not with my internet service provider. And second, it told me that the problem was not with any of the settings on my personal computer. Otherwise, if it was a problem with a setting on my personal computer or my internet service provider, I would have still gotten the same issue. So this led me to, it has to be the router. It has to be something in my router settings. So I went into the router, and some routers have... A network administrator option where you, this should be easy to fix. There are Google browsers. Reagan, can you out? There are Google browsers that. Um, sorry, my kid's screaming. So yeah, there are Google browsers uh, or modems that are like linked to Google or something. I've I, I don't have one, and so I only know this from uh, Google searches, kind of seeing what people said. Um, that you can go in and you can turn the restricted mode on and off for your personal Google settings. My browser or my modem was not one of those. I tried turning off my firewall. I tried turning off my family settings. Um, I tried changing my family settings. I tried changing all of the different things and I couldn't, uh, none of it worked. None of it worked. I tried updating my firmware and that didn't work as well. My firmware was already up to date, but I ran it anyway. And all of these things uh, led me to believe that I had a faulty router uh, of some kind. So the only thing that I had left to do was reset my router to factory defaults and start it over. So that's what I did. Scrolled down to the bottom of my router um, and reset it back to the factory defaults. Once I set it back up, established my same internet connections uh, renamed everything, put the same passwords on everything. So it made it easy for all of my home devices to reconnect. Uh, everything seemed to work fine. And I can log on on any one of my browsers on my cell phone. Um, and I can search David Nell's The Secret or any other um, uh, restricted mode thing. And if I scroll down into the settings, it tells me my restricted mode is off. And so I have finally fixed this problem. The reason I'm posting is because I've seen lots and lots of other people that have asked this question, scrolled all the way through their chat threads, and nobody else seems to understand what this problem is or how to solve this problem. I've gone to website customer service for YouTube, for Google, for Microsoft, um, as well as for my router, and nobody had the answers on any of those. So this is going to be a 10 minute long video to explain simply that it's an issue with your router, you need to reset it back to factory defaults. Uh, most likely that will fix the problem. Um, I had one other thing that I was going to say, but I forgot what it was. Um, oh, if you don't know how to reset your router, if you don't know how to get into your router, um, the way to do that is on the bottom of your router, um, if you don't know what your router is, first you have two devices that give your computer internet. The first one is your modem. The modem is the first one that gets connected to the internet from your internet service provider, either Comcast or AT&T or, you know, whoever it is, CenturyLink. The modem has one, uh, usually it's a coax cable. 
that spins and, and screws into it uh, coming from the wall. And then it has a Ethernet port that goes to the computer or an, uh, carries the Internet from the modem to the router. The router is what gives the Internet. It splits the Internet. It has multiple Ethernet ports in the back of the router, as well as it provides Wi-Fi access to the house. So uh, on the bottom of the router, that's the one with all the multiple cords plugged into the back of it. It's going to have a router, admin, and password, okay? It's also going to have a router, um, uh, what's it called, a uh, MAC ID uh, address, okay? You're going to have to go onto your computer with your computer plugged into your ad your router and type in that um, that MAC address, and it's going to be something like 192.168.1.1 or .1.2 or 2.1, something like that, okay? Now, if you've already set this up in the past, you're going to have to know what your username and your password is. Um, if you don't know your username and your password, uh, that could be bad for you, okay? Um, you're going to have to figure that out. If you don't know what it is, if you've never set it up, most of the time it's going to be on the bottom. It's going to be admin, admin, or something like that. Anyway, that's how you're going to log into your router settings. You're going to go, I would just, I just recommend instead of turning on or off firewalls or anything like that, just reset it. It's too easy. Um, go to the factory reset button uh, on It'll be on probably on if you scroll down, it'll say reset or factory default, and it'll give you a warning that says if you do this, all of your devices are going to be lost, um, and or they're going to lose internet connection. And so you say yes, yes, yes. And then when you reset it, it'll ask you probably to register the device with whatever company it was, type in your name, phone number, all that stuff, and then it'll connect to the internet. And then it'll ask you what you want to name your Wi-Fi and what password you want for your Wi-Fi, or it'll give you those things automatically and you can change them. Um, and then if you put the same Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password as your previous one before you reset it, all of the devices in your home will reboot and re automatically reconnect. And that will make this process much easier for you. Um, I did this and it took me probably three hours of customer service of people that didn't know how to solve my problem. And it probably took me 10 to 15 minutes of myself troubleshooting and uh, deciding I just needed to reset my router. Uh, so this is what I recommend to everybody. If you like this video, please like it, share it, post it in the links of places that uh, the chat threads of people that are having the same problem so that in the future, the other individuals have somewhere to go to find answers to their problem and watch their favorite YouTube videos. I'm done.